Here I've got the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 all new PlayStation 5 Slim, got the DualSense controller. So we're gonna go ahead and push the PlayStation button and see if it will turn on right away. It did not. Unlike the previous PlayStation 5, this one is much nicer because it's first of all smaller, but it also has the jack button right here. And it also has a power button here instead of them both being over here. So you can't really confuse which one is the power and which one is the jack button. You also get two USB-C ports now in the front instead of having only one USB-C port. Let's hit the power button right here. And we have the blue lights right over there at the bottom. It actually looks pretty nice booting up and we've got the PlayStation logo right there and it is finally all starting up as you guys can see. Now I'm wondering if we have to still use the USB-C cable to connect the controller and the answer to that should be available. Okay, so yeah, we will, but let's try it one more time. Let's push this and no. So I do have to go ahead and plug in the USB-C to USB-C cable, which is this one right over here. As you guys can see, it's no longer like this one that the software shows. The software shows the previous cable. That's interesting. I would expect them to update that, but they didn't. Open this up, plug it in. This new PlayStation 5 also does not come with a stand. It only comes with like a feed, so you can put the PlayStation 5 in the horizontal way. Right now, just for this video, I have it up vertically without the proper stand that you have to buy separately. I'm gonna use this PlayStation 5 in the horizontal way. I'm just only having this right now in the vertical just for this video. So let's hit the PlayStation button since we have the orange lights on the controller to show that it's charging. Here we've got the select your language. Let's go with English. We don't need the screen reader. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Next up over here, we're gonna select the Wi-Fi network, type in the password. Let's hit done, hit okay. Connecting to the access point. Adjust the display area. With this, you use the up and down arrows to adjust how you want the display to be. Hit OK. Power options for rest mode. Control the amount of power consumed and the features your PS5 can use while in rest mode. You can go custom and then you can go optimized. I'm gonna go with optimized experience. Hit OK. And then you can go with I agree to all this. Let's hit confirm. Then we have system software update. We can do this later or we can do this right now. Let's go ahead and do this right now. The PS5 system software will update. Let's hit update. Now this new PlayStation 5 also has a one terabyte storage versus the 825 gigabyte that you guys get on the previous PlayStation 5. It indicates it right here on the packaging, as you guys can see. Now, since it's already connected to the PlayStation, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the USB-C cable because you only need this for that first step to pair the controller. And look how beautiful this new system is, you guys. Got the two-tone, so it's like glossy white over here, and you've got the matte white below. It definitely looks really, really nice. Looks like the system is restarting. Please wait, installing. We've got the blue light pulsing over there. Please wait, system software update. After the installation is complete, your PS5 will automatically restart. Let's wait for this to complete. It's restarting again, so we've got the blue light pulsing again, the PlayStation logo. And from here on, it's telling me to press the PlayStation button, so let's do that together like this. There we go, and it paired it right away. It also says that the DualSense controller has an update, and you can also do this after 24 hours if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and hit X and then do that right now. Updating the DualSense wireless controller device software, and definitely does it pretty quick. We're already at 50%. It's kind of what the DualSense looks like while it's updating. And once it's 100, we've got the blue and then the white there. Still waiting, nothing on the screen yet. Yeah, it's definitely taking longer than expected. Usually it does it pretty quick. Let's hit the PlayStation button and see if anything happens. Nothing. Interesting. Yeah, this never happened. It usually does it super quick. Like after the completion, it goes to the next step with the previous PS5s that I've had. And I've had multiple. Yeah, I don't know. This is, this is getting me worried a little bit. Like, should I unplug and restart? Not sure, actually. Nothing's happening. Let's put this down here and then just wait and see what happens. It's been like a minute, so let's hit the eject real quick. Just beeps, nothing there, so that's not the problem. Touch the PlayStation button, nothing. I feel like I have no other option just to touch the power button. Will that do anything? Yeah, this is the first time, guys. It has never happened like this to me when I was setting up my PlayStation. 
preparing to turn off your PS5. Now I'm going to just kind of do it like that. I'm not going to hold the button or anything or unplug. We're just going to let it fully shut down and then I'll hit the button once again or I might just hit the controller. Yeah, I'll just touch the PlayStation button on the controller so that will turn it on. So let's touch the PlayStation button. Got the beep. The blue light is on and it's starting to pulse now. PlayStation logo, that's great. And oh no. Okay, updating your disk drive. Okay, interesting. So now this is something new, I guess because it's kind of like an easily removable, the disk drive. Your disk drive is connected to your PS5. To use disk drive, register it to your PS5. So this is pretty interesting. So let's hit do this now and you can do this later, but it seems like to use it, you have to register it. So let's hit okay. Registering your device. You can now use your disk drive with your PS5. Let's hit okay. Insert a game disk. If you have a game disk, insert it now and we'll install it while you continue with the setup. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue without a disk, but if you wanted to put a disk, then you could have obviously done that. Now, PlayStation, uh, we can sign into it. It's a different looking uh, system there. It's much different QR code now, actually. Uh, but pretty much, I'm gonna go with the uh, sign in process manually, and then we're gonna type in the information right here and log in. Let's hit sign in. Secure your account, uh, require a PS5 login passcode. I'm not gonna be needing that, but so let's hit okay. From here, console sharing and offline play. You already have another PS5 with console sharing and offline play enabled. So I do have that. So I'm not gonna be enabling it on this PS5. So we're gonna hit don't enable. But if this is gonna be your main PS5, then you should enable that. If you already have a PS4 or another PS5 console, you can transfer your data to this PS5. Transferring data won't remove it from your other console. Data store in USB extended storage or M.2 SSD storage won't be transferred. To transfer data later, go to settings system and system software data transfer. So you can do that also. Let's hit do this later. Welcome to PlayStation 5. So it looks like it's actually getting us into dashboard here, which is pretty awesome. So let's see how that goes. There we go. Got the PlayStation Plus over here. And this is currently the PlayStation Plus games that you get with this month. So we've got the Mafia 2 Definitive Editions. Um, already uh, for the PlayStation Plus monthly games here for uh, November, which is pretty awesome. But what I really want to do, guys, is go with this Modern Warfare code installation. Uh, so let's go with that. Then we're going to go over here to the PlayStation Store and look at that right away showing us the Modern Warfare 3 that it's available right now. And if we look, since I don't have this purchased, it costs $89.99 here in Canada plus taxes. And this one came with the console and I got this on the Black Friday deal. So I actually saved $80 off the price tag. So that means I got the game technically for free. Now to redeem that, we're going to go over here to more redeem code. And then we're going to type in the 12 character code. So let's go ahead and do that. It shows up what the code is for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This one also comes with the PlayStation exclusive lockpick operators pack, which is pretty cool. Let's hit the redeem. So we've got the Modern Warfare 2. Not sure why it's all showing here. Now, I'm not sure why it's showing me like Modern Warfare 2 and stuff, but this is the main game. So we're going to hit on this and hit download. And this should start downloading. So we've got like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Warzone 2, and then we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Campaign Pack 1, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Campaign Pack 2. So it's got quite a bit of uh, packages here. So let's hit install. I'm not connected to like with wired connection. So two hours, 21 minutes. Let's quickly go with a speed test and see what kind of speeds we're getting. Yeah, only 18 megabits for the download. That's pretty slow. So what I'm gonna do right now, guys, is let's. Let's do this one more time. So I'll go over here to the power and then let's restart the PS5. So now we got 42 megabits. And let's just kind of pause the downloads. This could be the reason, who knows? Pause all, there we go. And let's test it again. So we got 112 megabits now. So I'm not sure if it's like my Wi-Fi or what it is. There we go. So seven and a half upload, 89.5 megabits for the download. Let me quickly do a test without doing any cuts on this video and let's see not now for that so this is what i'm pulling as you can see on the iphone 14 pro max same room same wi-fi router connected to the same exact network and if i'm connected on wired network on my macbook i can pull 
uh, gigabit and gigabit both. And I'd like to show you guys that the lights go pretty much all the way up now with this new PlayStation 5 Slim. After connecting it with the internet cable, it looks like it's doing over 100 megabytes per second with the download. And yeah guys, that was the quick setup of the old new PlayStation 5 Slim with the Call of Duty bundle. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one.